What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, I'm gonna to be throwing some tips and tricks for when you're building your V-Pin. We're also gonna be discussing pre-built PCs. Do they work? So this is gonna be the last video I'm making for this specific table, which is my limited edition table. I'll be discussing all the features. I'll be even opening up the cabinet to show you guys the wiring and all that. This is gonna be honestly a little bit of a sporadic video, but I also figure with the wiring I did, maybe it could help you guys if you wanted to build your own V-pin. Maybe it could help you with a couple ideas on how you could wire up your V-pin. So real thing right now, I did just plug it in. I have the cabinet off. On all my builds, I always have a one button PC right in front. You just press it one time, give it a couple of seconds, and it'll boot. Let it do its thing. Real quick, the big thing about this system, and again, with to date, it's September 2021, it is still pretty difficult to get. Welcome to Hell in a Box. So as you just saw real quick, the PC booted up, went right into pinup popper. Um, as I was saying before, the music was too loud. Um, it's still difficult to get like GPUs, graphics cards at reasonable prices. It's unbelievable. So there's a certain thing about this specific build. And again, this is why I don't really discuss pricing in my videos because it all depends. Um, but the biggest thing I did for this customer and I wanted to test it was that this build right here is actually running a pre-built Dell XPS. A Dell XPS in my eyes and what I've seen, it's kind of the current gen Optiplex. A lot of people, if you do know arcade builds and all that, I've done a couple of Optiplex builds. Basically, they're refurbished, you know, business used computers. And I've just stumbled upon this XPS at an amazing deal on a website that I follow that gives me coupon codes. So, um, you know, can you build a 4K virtual pinball machine with a Dell XPS pre-built? And in all honesty, this machine, it plays beautifully. I, I, I'm not even lying to you. It is straight stock pre-built Dell XPS. It's running an i5, a 1660 super graphics card. The only thing I added to it was I added 16 gigs of RAM on top of the eight gigs of RAM that was already installed in the computer. So this does have 24 gigs of RAM. Now again, you'll see a couple of videos. If you do a quick search for like Dell um, XPS pre-built, there is somebody on YouTube that's like, I don't wanna say the word roasting, but I feel like they're roasting like the XPS because they do talk about how the, for example, the SSD is a no name brand SSD. The RAM, same thing. The motherboard is a Dell motherboard, so you can't really upgrade or overclock. Um, and the big thing that he did state was the whole thing about the 1660 Super is that it's not a real G-Force. I'm not even going to go into it, but basically it, it made me feel like it sounded like it wasn't a real G-Force 1660 Super. Um, but, you know, if you want to go that type, go watch those videos. But in all honesty, I've been playing with this machine for a solid week for about two hours every day. And it is shocking, to be honest, especially with the price I paid for it. Just the PC alone in this, after taxes and after shipping, it costed me $780 landed. I, again, totally pre-built i5-1660 Super. If you do add like the RAM to it, add another 80 bucks for the RAM. Um, but, you know, Yes, it's still under a thousand. My personal PC running a 2060 total came out to $800. But you know, finding a 2060 graphics card now, you're not going to find it the way I paid for it. You know, a year ago, it's it's pretty ridiculous. But um, if you get into the end of this video, if you are looking at a pre-built Dell, it does work. The only thing I personally don't like about the Dell, and you know, it kind of goes into motherboards. Like you know, I usually like my MSI motherboards. Um, you know, the pinouts and the fanouts uh, on the motherboard itself to add fans and stuff. The Dell doesn't really have that. The biggest challenge, and when I open up the cabinet, you're going to see, the biggest challenge I have with the Dell, honestly, was wiring my arcade button to turn on, like a PC power switch. There was no room for error when I was soldering and rewiring just that little kind of um, thing that goes into the motherboard. Um, another thing when I do take you back and you look at the PC fans on my other build, my personal build, um, you'll see in the rear I have white PC fans to give cooling into the cabinet. Um, on my personal build, when you actually turn the computer on, the fans kick on. For some reason with Dell, 
if you like play around with like the fan and the headers and the pins, for example, like the start button, there was four wires going to it and you have to have actually all four wires connected. I only had two wires connected and I kept getting a Dell error. Almost the same thing happened with the fan. I actually removed the fan that was built into the Dell case and I tried to put my fans in. I kept getting a Dell error and I was like, you know what? It is not worth it for a customer to turn this on and get Dell errors. It wasn't worth it. So basically my PC cooling fans in the cabinet, they automatically turn on once you give power to the actual power plug. Not the computer, but the actual power plug. Now a quick comment, I always wanna give a big shout out, especially to the people, the creators of Pin Up and all that. You got Terry Red, you got Nailbuster David, there's a lot of people, and with that there are also companies that are selling. In my eyes, there's two main kind of companies that I would definitely keep an eye on, meaning that their builds are like amazing. Um, honestly, they are overseas. I believe one is in Australia, one's in UK. Um, one of them is Extreme. I love that guy's cabinets. It's, they're, they're beautiful, they're works of art. The other big thing is that there are other people, probably like me, that are like selling, but you have to kind of watch out. This isn't, a, this isn't like a gig to, oh yeah, buy it from me. Um, there's like two other people I follow and I kind of laugh at their builds. Um, you know, I'm very big on testing, you have to test. That's why usually I, I like to build my cabinets, same thing with the arcade builds, I build the cabinets and then I'll actually play with it for a week. That's just how I work it. I'm gonna bring you guys closer because I still wanna talk about the Dell and just talk about how smooth everything is, but I also wanna show you the pinup system and kind of things that you should look at if you are considering buying a V-pin from somebody. So real quick again, I still wanna talk about the Dell XPS. I'm gonna turn this system off. I'm gonna turn it off actually, and then I'm gonna boot it. We'll do a whole quick boot time on this. Please keep in mind again when I did talk about my pinball machines, I will not have multi-tables on my builds. I do not want to break the pinball community guidelines. We've lost a very important website, which was vpinball.com. We lost that because of sellers. Again, if you saw my first video when I talked about this, my main focus is to sell pinball cabinets with DOF. Now again, you do see in the video that this does have pin up, this does have a lot of tables in it. That is because it is my personal drive that is in this. However, when this customer gets this, it will have pin up popper and it will only run the Simpsons pinball party. That is it. This does not have multiple tables. I have still my pin up popper system on this because I do want to show you the viewers what to look for in a 4k build. And again, with the Dell, the pre-built, how it works and how it acts and how it performs when it comes to pinup and all that. So please keep that in mind. If you are looking at a pinball machine from me, and let's say you choose, I don't know, artwork for Star Trek, I would only have the Star Trek table on this when you get it. Um, if you do like a, there's somebody that makes like a multi, um, what was it, a multi pinball madness cabinet. Like if you want like a multi themed artwork, you're gonna pick one pinball machine table and I'll put it on it. So. Please keep that in mind. I do know that you are seeing, especially in the preview, the promo video that I made for this. Yes, you do see multiple tables. Yes, you do see pinup, but this customer is not getting that. It, again, I'm, I'm kind of heartbroken that we lost a very important website, which was V-Pinball. And again, the, the creator of V-Pinball literally wrote, like, sellers destroyed the hobby and left. And, and it, was, it was kind of a heartbreaking thing. Honestly, it sounds weird. But uh, it was sad to see that, that it, it's gone. The pinball is gone and, and it's unfortunate. But, but again, my personal objective with this cabinet and what I want to do with the pinball is to give people totally wired, totally set DOF link setup. A lot of people want V pinball machines and they want the solenoids and the flashes and the beacons, but they are afraid to do the wiring or it's too tedious. I get that. That is my objective. I'm trying to sell you a completely DOF wired out cabinet. Almost like how companies sell, sell you flat pack kind of cabinets and then you do that, that's what I wanna do. Not to mention when it comes to V pinball and tables, tables get upgraded weekly. Um, you know, the biggest thing, uh, and I said in a way past video, I did download somebody's hard drive that was on like a YouTube link, like a wizard, and it was an arcade wizard Oz guy. It was pure crap, it was, it was trash total trash because 
he had like Tales of the Arabian Nights version like 1.1, not even 4K. So you as a customer should definitely prepare yourself on getting used to downloading tables, how to update your tables. And there are a lot of people, there's Biggest Mod, there's Schizo, they make like beautiful revisions and, and they, they, you know, kudos to them for doing it. Um, it's something that you have to learn. It's something that I definitely don't want to get a phone call or an email and say, hey, my guy, my friend's got Deadpool on his cabinet. How do I add it? I'll give tutorials on how I personally do it on my system. But other than that, like I, I'm not, I'm not into, into that at all. Again, my objective is to sell you completely wired Dofflink setup V-pins. On that note, I'm gonna press the start button. We're gonna see how long this Dell boots up and a couple of cool things that I did do compared to my personal pin. So, three, two, one. Again, I always have a power button underneath my cabinet. And again, it'll do its thing, we'll leave it be. Um, big thing you're gonna see is that the system's gonna boot, volume's gonna be a little bit loud, and then after about 10 seconds, it's gonna drop because of pin volume. Watch. Welcome to Hell in a Box. Big thing to mind, you take a look at the DOF here. Watch the LEDs, you're gonna see them turn off, and then you're gonna hear the volume drop. There it is. Once the volume drops, the system right now is good to go. Again, we are talking and focusing on a Dell pre-built XPS build. And what's kind of cool, and you, I, I literally learn something new every day, um, I found out how to get into like the startup script. And as you can see, like it booted and went right into pinup popper. The big thing right now that I always have set to start, when my computer starts, I have pinball, I have Dofflinks, and then I have pinup popper. So there's three systems that start up. And the one thing I did notice, if you see right now what happened, is that pinup starts, and then Dofflink starts, and then pinball starts. I have yet to figure out how to do it in a kind of orderly fashion. In my personal table, I have it set up using task scheduler, where you know I schedule a task. So for example, on my pin, I have pinup popper set to to activate after 30 seconds of startup. That's like task scheduler. The way I did this, I found out a way to get into like the system 32 folder and then add these programs to the startup. So the only thing I did notice is that pinup popper will start. If you start playing with it and the whole Dofflinks didn't reboot or the pinball, after about 10 minutes, the displays kind of go crazy. Right now though, the way I have it set and the way this is running right now, it is perfect. I can launch a table, I can play a table, I can exit a table, no issues. The big thing is that again, I do like this pin vol and I have it always set up to drop the volume because you never know if you're playing it, playing it at 1 a.m. Yes, you do have that first five seconds of it kind of being loud. It's not ear piercing loud. It's not 100% loud, but you do hear it drop. So that's how I kind of built this specific unit is that I don't want it to be 100% on Windows. He turns it on at 1 a.m. and it's just like blaring volume. So I usually have it set to start at 40% Windows volume and then work from once Pinval activates, it drops to 20%. So here's the big thing when I, when I want to show you guys, especially with the, uh, with the Dell, and when you're looking at other people's builds, right? There is a build, I'm not going to drop names, but there's two of them that I kind of laugh at. The biggest thing is like when you cycle, it should be fluid like that. Like that's what you want. I dedicate that definitely to the SSD drive and the RAM and the graphics card I would say too, but you can see right now I'm bouncing and this is perfect. There is one guy I always laugh. I don't know what he has, but like he would tap this and it would just slowly go like there was lag. And I'm like, I don't understand. This guy claims to be rocking SSDs and 16 gigs and i7s. And I don't know if your if your build isn't that smooth, there's something wrong. Either you're just copying, pasting, and you're not figuring out or how to make it work. But that's just something that I did notice and you want to be sure to notice too. I'm a very big person on, you know, making sure, and this is where it goes into you creating your own kind of pinup setup. I'm very big on like, your icons should be the same size and they should be the same style. Uh, again, I downloaded that Arcade Oz thing 
and he just had so many different like logos and basically one had the silver ring and the next one just had like x-men logo it gets very in-depth again pinup popper like i said in my last videos there's a lot of work that goes into pinup popper setting up you got to download the icon the backlash the topper the, the 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 dmd video there is a lot that goes into it so again as you can see me navigating i'm i'm fine i've seen people's builds that are selling that's my biggest gripe is that it's a reseller selling and it's just like the computer just lags like literally it would just go slow motion here and i'm like you either didn't test this something wonky it's weird um i always have my magnet save set to skip the next letter so that's always a great feature i believe that's stock with pinup but as you can see right now i mean yes me skipping letters it go it does disappear but then again, I have 351 tables on this one list. So now the one big thing that I did as far as my personal drive, and you know, it depends on how you wanna do it. My VPX list has 351 games here. And I personally am not a big fan of the pup pack tables. So originally, when I first made my personal cabinet, I had my no pup tables and pup pack tables on this wheel. What that basically translated to is that I had two Simpsons pinball parties. I had two Sopranos and it just didn't look good because it looked like I was duplicating it. For this example here, there are two different Simpsons tables. You got the Simpsons Data East and you got the Simpsons pinball party. What I did is that I used basically the playlist feature. If I actually exit and then go back into V pinball, I actually have a setup for pup packs. It cleans up my main VPX, which again, for me personally, I am not a fan of the pup pack tables. I feel like it just takes away. I still respect the people that enjoy them and make them. They are cool. It's just to me, they're distracting. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Don't kill me for it. But I do have a pup pack only wheel. So right here is 33 games. So if I go back again, my original table for VPX, I have 351 no pup pack tables. And then if you wanted to, you could add 33 games. So you can put them all on one list or like me, I have it separated. So for example, the Lord of the Rings, Monster Bash, I do have my Simpsons pinball party. This is the pup pack one. This is the Sopranos with the pup pack. South Park, there's regular South Park and then Halloween South Park. I even have the newer style, um, uh, animated uh, uh, PNGs. So again, keep in mind, using this Dell XPS, I am flying through these tables without any stutter, which is always great to see, especially if you are thinking about a pre-built. Again, the only kind of downside, and I'm gonna open up the table basically, is when it came to wiring, like the, po the power buttons and all that. As far as like loading times, you get your standard generic loading times. Again, I do have the Simpsons Pinball Party on this, so I might as well load up the Simpsons Pinball Party. Actually, I was playing, this is this right here, Tales of the Arabian Nights is my new favorite game. I'm actually gonna load this. So again, my personal drive, I have like animated loading. Again, Pinball set to 20%. If I wanted to, I could bump it up. As you can see with that, so loading and I'm pressing the pin vol, I'm messing with the pin vol. Again, for me, pin vol, usually around 60% is pretty loud already. It could go louder, but 60% to me is the kind of good number as far as my personal, this table personally for this customer. Um, just a great table. As you can see loading, I do have surround sound force feedback. Again, running 4K. And I got a lot for you. Shaker motor. I'm gonna turn off my garage lights. Alexa, turn off the garage lights. Okay. Hopefully this is a little bit better. Keep in mind again, Samsung 7 series, 50 inch, 4K, 60 Hertz display, 60 Hertz. Dell XPS 1660 Super, 4K table, Arabian Nights.
shaker motor going off. Oh, <laughs> I was looking at the camera. Beautiful table. Like, Arabian Nights is a must play. I'm hooked on it. I'm not even looking at the trick shots, the scope shots. Oh, should use the nudge. Now again, I do like to keep pressing the flippers. Just so you can see that the computer is keeping up. That's why you'll see me do this a lot. And you can see. No lag on it. Oh, down the pipe again. Got my ball back. Ball lost. Cool. Again, I do have surround sound feedback on this. That's why that flipper is loud. It's right here. The exciter is right on the right side, right by my flipper. Let's get the sco shot on this. Where do I have to go? I gotta hit sco shot middle. Let's try that. Yeah. Look at like the detail on like that. Maybe I can get multi-ball with you guys watching. Let's see. Skill shot again in the middle. Oh, I missed it. Strike the genie for multi-ball. There you go, that's it. Multi-ball is awesome on this table. So now you're gonna really see three ball, 4K. Let's see how the computer holds up. Oh, I lost one. Oh. Oh, crap. Not bad. Not bad. So there you guys have it. That was multi-ball, three-ball, Dell XPS. No hiccups, zero hiccups whatsoever. It's, it honestly, it shocks me. It definitely shocks me. I'm gonna lower this. Definitely a shocking, shocking display. Multi-ball, as you saw, no stutter. It's just, it's just beautiful. And again, so many things going off. Dofflinks active, going through and, and all that, it is something to think about. So, in conclusion, the Dell XPS, I'll even put a link down in the description on this certain specific computer. It, it did it pretty damn good. And you can see right now, I am able to navigate, enjoy, launch. Definitely, you could use a Dell XPS pre-built for your V-Pin. So again, as far as my personal setups, all you gotta do is come here, hold down the power button, done. That is it, the computer will shoot, shut down. Maybe give it like 10 seconds and you're good to go.